Justin Trudeau's comments on universal health care, coupled with his subtle critique of the U.S. system, highlight a fundamental ideological divide between Canadian and American values. The debate between prioritizing free market solutions versus government involvement is at the core of the healthcare conversation. Many argue that individual choice and private competition enhance quality and efficiency, especially in a sector as vital as healthcare. When Trudeau quipped, It would be a lot easier if you guys had universal healthcare. He was seen by some as advocating for a system viewed by critics as plagued by inefficiency, high taxes, and excessive government control. Uh, on the things that we love, it's, it's, it's an amazing country, and I really encourage you to come up and see more than just for the maple syrup and mountains. <laughs> Although those are good. I work, I, work there. There I work in Vancouver and Toronto okay. and had a, had, a, had a great time. So you're, you're, you're our closest ally, Canada. We, we stand you know, shoulder to shoulder. You know, facing the world and the challenges of the world. I'm sure you're talking about a lot about the UN. What do we fight over? We don't think of ourselves as fighting with with you guys. What are we? What, what's the what's the big? Is it soft lumber tariffs? Um, it? Yeah, fishing that's, rights. That's yeah, these, what is it? these are yeah. issues, um, yes. but they're always small issues that, that matter. I mean, you guys are paying too much for your lumber uh, because you've got tariffs on it, and that doesn't make any sense. So we keep sure. trying to point that out for you. Right. But uh, we'll. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll keep working on that. Uh-huh. Uh, but we come we, up, we come up to you guys to get cheaper drugs. Yeah, we we'll come over the border for cheaper we're, drugs. You guys okay with that? We're happy to, to try and try and help you out, but it'd be really easier if you guys had universal health care. <laughs> and no, no offense, it's delicious, but you have the wrong name for your bacon. That's just a slice of ham. What you guys have got? Uh, yes. well, no, we call what you call Canadian bacon. We just call back bacon. Real bacon is in long strips. Thank you. Yeah, I accept yeah. your apology. <laughs> You on behalf of, usually on behalf be a safe thing to say because we apologize a lot, but I hadn't right. apologized for that. All right. <laughs> for many Americans, Trudeau's message could be interpreted as an unwelcome critique of their deeply rooted values of autonomy and individualism. The suggestion that universal health care would simplify life clashes with the ideals of personal responsibility, the private sector's role, and concerns that government run health care could lower standards of care. Meanwhile, the enthusiastic reaction from Stephen Colbert's audience underscores the cultural rift between liberal elites and those who hold more traditional American values, particularly around issues like minimal government interference. Trudeau's comments tap into a deeper conversation about national identity and sovereignty, and some view the audience's cheers for universal health care as undermining core American principles. Trudeau's remarks don't just stir ideological debates, but also touch on psychological questions about the role of government in shaping personal decisions. For some, the promise of a universal healthcare system offers stability, predictability, and peace of mind, alleviating anxieties about access, costs, and treatment outcomes, particularly for those who struggle to navigate the complexities of private insurance. However, Canada's healthcare system is not without its challenges, including a shortage of doctors, long wait times, and aging medical infrastructure. Critics argue that Canadian hospitals often feel neglected, leaving patients without timely care. At the same time, for those skeptical of government run systems, the notion of healthcare being easier can provoke discomfort. What feels stable to some may feel like a loss of personal control to others. Freedom to choose a path that fits their individual needs replaced by the imposition of a one-size-fits-all approach. This tension captures the broader challenge in balancing collective care with individual choice in the healthcare debate.